can never move in such an unrestricted manner. But, but, the materialistic scientist endeavor to reach other planet by mechanical vehicle is only a fertile atom. One can, however, reach heavenly planet by virtuous activities, but one can never expect to go beyond the Sorga or Janaloka. By such mechanical and materialistic activities, either grass or subtile, the transcendentalists who have nothing to do with the grass material body can move anywhere within and beyond the material world. Within the material world, they move in the planetary system of the Mahajana, Tapa, Satyaloka. And beyond the material world, they can move in the Vaikundas as unrestricted specimen, unrestricted spaceman. Narada Muni is one such of the example of such a spaceman. Durvasa Muni. Durvasa Muni is one of such mystics. By the strength of the devotional service, austerities, mystic power and transcendental knowledge. Everyone can move like Narada and Durvasa Muni. It is said that Durvasa Muni travel throughout the entity of the material space and part of the spiritual space within one year only. The speed of the transcendences can never be attained by the gross and subtle materialists. Om Ajnana Timiranda Sajjana Anjala Chalakya Chachuru Militam Mena Dasmai Shri Guruve Nama Shri Chaitanya Manovishtam Swapitam Mena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamaya Pradampisham Padamkyam Vandeham Shri Guru Shivata Padakamadam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shah Shri Rupam Shagarjatam Shaganarugnatam Nitam Tam Sajeevam Satvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sagitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Sri Radha Krishna Pada Sagna Raguna Tata Tam Vitam Cha E Krishna Karna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jagat Pate Gopita Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namaste Tapta Kanchara Gaurangi Radha Vrindavane Shwari Vishapam Sudevi Pranamami Haripri Vancha Kalpas Dirubhita Kripa Sindhu Chapatitana Pavane Pyo Vishnave Pyo Numa Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vachara Gopita Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Namo Pangajanabhaya, Namo Pangajamalire, Namo Pangajanetraya, Namaste Pangajangre. Hare Krishna, welcome once again for the Nityam Bhagata Sevaya. Today's sloka is very interesting. So far, just before going to recap this sloka. So, let us... Recap what all we understood. We understood about Virata Rupa description. We understood about uh, uh, Paramatma descriptions, how he looks, and also we understood how the Paramatma uh, meditating devotee he attains the uh, liberation. And now, uh, from last Sunday onwards, the class going on the Virata Rupa meditating devotee, how they attain the uh, liberation. It's very interesting. So, you can all give attention so that you will understand in an easy way. So, um, so this Virata Rupa uh, uh, yogis are called Karma Mukti, the path of liberation for the attached yogis. So, uh, they are called Karma Muktis. So, O King, if yogis aspiring, this is uh, sloka number 20. Uh, Two, which is discussed on Sunday, just to recollect so that uh, it is a long gap, you might have missed out some point. So, let us recap that. O King, if yogi aspiring for liberation, also secondary aspiration, aspiring in the ab abode of Brahmaloka, a yogi before attaining liberation also describes. So, uh, what is secondary? Secondary is just to enjoy the middle uh, desire. So, yogis before attaining, before entering the uh, Brahma Loka, what they are doing is a yeah, yogi before attaining liberation also desire to check out the pleasure of Brahma Loka. They want to see what's there. How does the Brahma Loka look like? If one does these desires, they are the 
karma mukti so these are people who want to check out but their goal is that liberation but they want to see what is there in there also some curiosity so generally it happens even when we are also going no when we pass through the mall we don't have any requirements to buy anything but still no let's go and see what is there and many of the uh, youngsters if you see they know why are you going to mall they say that just want to see what is the latest fashion what the new dresses come whether they buying or not that secondary but just want to see so similarly these people also the karma mukti also they just want to enter and see what is uh, uh, brahma loka how it looks okay or the playground of the aerial being nandaka nandan kandan nandakanda garden so they want to see that how the garden looks i want to liberate only while going i want to check out the nanda garden nandakanda garden why so glorifying why what is the greatness of that not that i wish to settle there so is that i am interested to settle there itself no i am not interested but just i want to check out what it is how it is that is the desire i have so he just want see what it is in the nanda nanda kanan garden and the eight mystic power so various universe are using that in the previous yogis who is practicing the sat chakra yogi that is parmatma the immediate liberation so they use the sat chakra yogi at once they will get liberated okay he gave up his senses that means a subtle body that is mind intelligence and false ego so they give up that and uh, only the soul is left out and at the time of that uh, the soul also get liberated and leaves the body gross body and goes to the merge with the brahman this is a first class of devotees so here we are discussing about the uh, inferior yogis he has a reg- yes a regular transmigration constantly changing from one grass body to another grass body just like the wind carrying fragrance so when the wind comes you know when it passes through the flower shops you will get nice aroma of the rose uh, jasmine so lily different flowers it passes through you will get the different uh, smell similarly the soul also you know carries uh, the subtle so subtle body from one grass body to other grass body that means uh, when the soul transfer it also carries the mind intelligence and false ego also with that and uh, to the another grass body the inferior yogi who has a secondary goal so these are we are talking about inferior yogi who is uh, the virata rupa meditating people the secondary goal they have is he has a regular transmigration because of secondary goal enjoyment so he has a regular transmigration but uh, different regular regular transmigration of ordinary people so they are not uh, like ordinary people transmigration okay that we have to understand because normal trans uh, people are transmigration of soul but they have been called by the law of karma so here for this yogi his transmigration from one body to another body so for him he is he is is going on changing it is not down by so the uh, inferior yogi is even though he transmigrate from one body to other body with a uh, uh, subtle body but he is not down by the law of karma that we have to understand this yogi even though he is as a material goal though he has a material goal like uh, he want to get the uh, enjoy the material affluences but still he is exalted person how because he is uh, far better than the material he has a material goal is a secondary goal but primarily he want to get liberated that is the difference for normal person he doesn't have any goal at all but uh, inferior yogis they have a goal of primary goal is get liberated and secondary goal is only the enjoyment but normal person the primary goal itself is the enjoyment okay he want to enjoy he want to go and see that the uh, mauritius maldives and uh, uh, us so different country he want to travel and enjoy like the andaman nikobar goa like that so
so therefore we should not think that uh, this person is outright material so this uh, um, ashtanga virata rupa yogis are not outright materialist no they are he is not a outright person he is very much involved and he is following all the rigid principles that shloka and the 22 verses it indicates that the outright karmis okay he desire to enjoy material world of the different planetary system he is not uh, very interested in this earthly planet he want to enjoy the material affluence of different that is swarga mahara tapa satya so various planetary system you want to upper planet system you want to travel and see that what is the enjoyment they are doing we should understand that we are taking about we should understand that we are talking about the yogis who is clearly identify the liberation as a primary goal they are very much identify themselves as a primary goal is that liberation secondary is attainment he is the desiring so he is want to enjoy that he is a he is a very genuine so since there is a lord creation he want to see also there is nothing wrong what lord is creation when he leaves this body he moves along with the minds intelligent and senses mind senses to the next destination he is taking the when he the soul is carrying the mind and senses also having so what vishala chakravarti thakur says it having spoken on the instant liberation already we have discussed on the instant liberation subhadev also we now describe the gradual liberation karma mukta or the archal ancharadiya marga ancharadiya marga this also given in the bhagavad gita if one desires to attain the brahma loka so somebody want to reach the brahma loka or the playground of the chechras flying being chechras who has uh, eight mystic power so eight mystic power no already we have discussed in many times uh, what the mystic power they can become a smallest of small biggest of big they can uh, uh, fly anywhere so all these things in all the universal universe is filled with all qualities so upper planetary system has so much of qualities are there at the time of giving up the body one does not give up the mind and senses this virata rupa uh, uh, yogis they they not when the time of giving the body they won't give up their mind and senses they carry along with the soul carries along with that rather with the mind and senses one goes to enjoy those planet with that only they can enjoy the mind and senses only because he want to feel it because he need a settled body to enjoy the secondary goal if there is no secondary settled body he cannot enjoy it is like a dry okay in a void what happens nothing you need some senses like as uh, you go to the flower shop okay you feel nice fragrance but if you go to a stationery shop there also the uh, paper flowers are there but you will not feel the uh, smell so similarly uh, to feel the uh, smell you need fragrance similarly the subtle mind and senses is required to enjoy he goes to the various planetary system there are seven 13 destinations are mentioned in the 14 planet system 13 places he has to pass through that before he attain the brahma jyoti so he has before they are reaching he has to pass through the 13 destination the destination describes as a subtler describes subtler and subtle material pleasure so it is you are getting some subtle material pleasure also stairs starting with the gross material pleasure so initially you start with the gross material pleasure when they are in the earthly planet then it, you are traveling to the subtle he enjoys subtle material pleasure and satisfied so like a swarga loka he goes and he enjoys my curiosity is satisfied he feels that okay he want to see that he enjoyed 100% let me go to the next planet this is the mood of the virata rupa yogis he get appropriate body to enjoy the material pleasure so he got a 
proper body because as we say that you want to go to sun planet you should have the body of the sun planet which is if you want to go to moon planet you should have the body of the which is suitable there so, uh, for you to understand if you want to go to uh, uh, south pole or north pole you cannot go just like how you are there just wearing a simple garment you need a cold resisting uh, material uh, cloths so which can withstand the temperature of minus 50 degree such, such a thing so you you need that cloth to wear then only you can go similarly if you want to go to higher planetary system you need that body otherwise you, your body cannot withstand the pressure and the temperature the part of subtile body he get appropriate body enjoy the material pleasure of that planet he is satisfied he gives up once he is satisfied he give up part of the settled body so he has a hundred percent then he gives twenty percent or whatever the percentage of that planetary system he gave the settled he, so his mind and uh, intelligence settled uh, mind and senses partially give up then he moves out not like we people know uh, even if you go to the like uh, wonderla you go this year summer vacation after fully satisfied Next year also you want to go that when the summer comes he says yes I want to go. You are not seizing the pleasure 100%. You are carrying forward to next year also. So that is not the condition for this Virata Rupa Yogis. So which need to enjoy that level of pleasure. So part of the subtle body which is giving that planetary system that is required to enjoy that. It is like a, for you to understand suppose you are, you are going to Singapore. Okay. You need to carry the Singapore dollars. You cannot carry the Indian dollar, uh, Indian rupees and go and spend that. So what do you do? Even though you have a lack of rupees, you carry some 50,000 uh, 50, rupees worth of Singapore dollar and uh, 50,000 worth of US dollar, something you will carry. But what do you do there? You spend the Singapore dollar in Singapore, then you will go to the Malaysia, there you change that US dollar into Malaysia currency and you spend something. Then you go to Thailand, you change the US dollar to some Thailand currency. So like that you go on whichever the, the destination you are traveling, you spend that local currency. Similarly, these uh, Virata Rupa Yogis also, they uh, use the subtle body and senses of part of it to enjoy that uh, which is needed to enjoy that level of pressure. So how you are spending Singapore dollar to go to Singapore, stay in a hotel, enjoy that uh, uh, place of uh, visiting various places, taking the pleasure. Similarly, these people also spend some of their subtle body and senses. He gives up those desires, he gives up those part of the body, then goes to the next planet and he enjoys that. It is like after exhausting your Singapore dollar, you go to the next uh, destination of Malaysia. So there you go there, exchange the currency to Malaysian rupee uh, currency and then start enjoying. So this is how you have to understand that. My curiosity is satisfied now. So after spending all the places in Singapore, you see, you tell now I am fully, my curiosity is gone. Now I have totally understood. Let me go to Malaysia. So let me go to the next place. That is for us, it is uh, within the earth planet, we are traveling to various destinations. For the Virata Rupa Yoga Yogi, from the Surga Loka, they travel to Makar Loka, from Jana Loka, they are enjoying. So they are spending full of the subtle energy of the body, partially, partially they are exchanging it and enjoying it. So through that only they can enjoy. So you want to go to Singapore and you want to go for, there is a, um, a train, monorail called. Okay, you want to travel and enjoy. But without giving Singapore dollar, you cannot get the ticket. Similarly, you want a pleasure, enjoy the pleasure of Magar Loka, Sorgo Loka. You need to spend part of your subtle body, that is mind and intelligence, to partially that, to enjoy that portion of enjoyment of that planet. That is the understanding of this. So you are very clear of why you have to spend the subtle sense and mind. Okay. By this way, his subtle body becomes sub, uh, subtler, subtler. Means you just start spending. You have got some, in your office, they gave some 1 lakh worth of US dollar. 
when you went to Singapore, you converted some fifty thousand, uh, ten thousand uh, uh, US dollar to Singapore dollar. You spent there. Then you are left out with ninety US dollar only. Similarly, as you go to the Malaysia, you spend another ten thousand US dollar into Malaysian currency. Then you are left out with eighty. This is what you say that subtle. So your subtle conscious of mind intelligence senses. Is getting gradually decreasing. Your total currency is getting. How your currency is getting decreasing? Your subtle energy body also getting reducing. This you have to understand as a devotee. Okay, it's very important point how he is reducing it. We will discuss this with a very detail because this is what you are learned in the Sloka 22 on the Sunday. Okay, and today is also you will be discussing detail about how the Virat Rupa yogis. Getting liberated. So before getting liberated, what are the terms and condition we are understanding? There is no instantaneous give up of subtle body. Like a Paramatma yogis, a meditating yogis, instantaneously they will give up the subtle body and they left out with the gross body and the soul leaves at when time comes. That he can choose when he wants. Like a, our Bhishma Dev, he can decide when he wants to leave. So these are the yogis. When they want to leave the body, but rather it is like that. So this uh, karmi mukta, karma mukta yogas, they have to give the subtle body slowly, slowly exchanging the currency. So let us understand an example. Okay, the first type of mukti is that uh, it is like a. Uh, I can tell you that you take a uh, mango juice in a glass, okay, or a grape juice. You have got okay, and uh, a guest come to your house. He is asking, "Give me water." So what do you do? You have got a choice. You throw the juice down and fill the water, and he can give to you. Okay, that's option one. This is what the Paramatma Mukta, Paramatma Meditating Yogi does. He just simply give up the subtle body, and he waiting for the grass body to leave. Okay, the soul to leave. Here this. Class of Karma Mukta Yoga process is you have got a glass of juice and your guest is asking water. What you do is you go, going on pouring the clean water on the juice. What happens? The juice spills out, spills out, spills out. Slowly, what happens? It clears the glass juice. Keep adding more and more water. Juice become diluted. And diluted to an extent that some point it become clear water. It is not like a sambo mukti which throw the juice, okay, and fill the water. So it is not that uh, instant uh, uh, liberated person. In the instant liberated person, he just throw the juice, fill the water, and he gives the guest. But this person. Going on diluting, diluting. At one point in time, the glass become uh, clear water. He serve. So similar, we have to understand. He goes to one planet, to other planet, another planet. He goes on traveling to other and subtler, en subtle enjoying. He is enjoying after enjoying, giving up the level of desire, level of desires, and gives up that part of the subtle body. So. He exchanges, like I told you, the currency from US dollar. He exchanges to Singapore dollar. He is paid for the monorail ticket, and then from that ticket, he is enjoying that traveling in monorail. Similarly, he is giving up the subtle body part by part, and the uh, subtle body become subtler, subtler, subtler. So, subtler, subtler, subtler. It is. The subtle body becomes slowly, slowly uh, uh, reducing. Okay, from hundred US thousand US dollar, then ninety thousand US dollar, eighty thousand. So slowly it is reducing. Okay, he is completely gives up the subtler. At finally, what happened? You exhausted all the currency. You can't find a trace of juice in the water glass. No, when you pour the water juice. Glass, you pour the water at at one point of time. No, all the juice goes out. Want the clean water. Similarly, he exhausted all this the subtle body. So then he enters. So who is this yogi? So this Virata Rupa yogi. No, who is this person? 
they say that this is a great yogis here in the uh, in this sloka he says yoga yoga ishwara so he is uh, why he has to be called so in the previous sloka he said the inferior yogi but in this sloka he said that he is a yogeshwara why we have to say the great no yogesh means greatness here we call great here means even though he is inferior but he is compared to us he is a great person we are we are ordinary person for us if we compare no he is a great person so they are not ordinary materialistic people therefore here they mention in this sloka sukade goswami he is calling that yogis are called yogeshwara yogeshwara who possess the subtle body he he different he separates subtle body and gross body the pavanam pavanam means here the sloka says that pavanatha atmanam pavanat pavanantara atmana that means it is like air okay we say no uh, uh, very light mac so gas balloon we call very light so it just flies so their body subtle body is like a so light it can travel so which is very subtle and become subtler subtler it is slowly like you gas balloon if you say no it will not stay in the top after some time no slowly it is falling down because the gas is leaking so as the gas reduces reduces one find it fall down no that because the weight of the um, rubber is so harder than the gas so it falls down similarly he gives up all the gas, uh, subtle subtle things he become gradually subtle subtle and hence he is called pavana pavanatmana he is lighter 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 as he loses the uh, gas no it is become lighter so clearly he is also subtle body is giving 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 he become very light that's why he is able to travel to upper planetary system it is very it is said the great yogis who possess the sub, subtle body the greater the worshipper of lord why they we call them great yogis they are not normal person they are the great worshipper of, of lord see they are not ashtang yogi though they are ashtang yogis they add other this the other thing also they are the worshipper of lord they follow the varnashrama dharmas they also ashtang yogis and also jnani they also read the scriptures they are not normal person like that they they knows just like a air can go anywhere so can you stop the air entering to any room no it can pass through so these people are any place it doesn't require any permission to get inside the room similarly these yogis can travel anywhere not controlled by law of karma that is the beauty of this virata rupa yogis they can, there is no law of karma for them they can travel to upper planetary system for us law of karma is there we can go to sarga loka after losing all our currency we have to come back so they can go anywhere inside and outside the universe middle planet our lower planet upper planet everywhere they can travel how they traveling with the strength of their worship of the lord they are worshiping the lord and on the practice of dharma they also practice the dharma and on the strength of the practice of ashtanga yoga because they they practice so vigorously that strength is giving them some element of jnana so they read the scriptures also so this many qualification required suppose you are entering to neat exam or gate exam you need you cannot read only english you need to study so many books and get prepared because with that strength only you can crack the exam similarly these yogis are not normal person they study the scripture they have the strength of the ashtanga yoga they have the strength of the uh, worshiping of lord they follow the dharmas varnashrama dharmas so all these things give them strength to travel their strength that they go to these places they do not attend such a place of performance so they are not traveling based on the performance of karma here we say that uh, pious karma so here in material world you see that they do lot of charity they build a uh, uh, hospital they build a charity ashrama uh, so many yagnas they perform they 
add the uh, pyre credit. So those pyre credit they will go to uh, upper planet system. Okay, like Swarga Loka, they go spend the time. And when they exhausted the pyre credit, they have to come back to here this uh, earthly planet. Again, they have to start from the scratch. They have to do the, all the pyre credit to accumulate. It's like a uh, usually it happens, you know, Dubai people, they come to India, they spend all the money. After they exhausted the money, again they will travel to Dubai, they start working hard. So similarly, these people also, uh, normal uh, pious credit uh, people, this is normal person, this is what their condition. They have to go to uh, accumulate the pious credit, go to Sargoloka, enjoy, spend all the money, then come back. So, these Virata Rupa yogis are not like that. They are, uh, they are not controlled by law of karma. They do not uh, accumulate. On the sense of the spiritual practice, so spiritual practice is, Ashtanga Yogi should not underestimate them. They are also practicing spiritual practice. They go to this planet, they don't have, they are not going on the, based on the karma, not with the credit of ice karma. They are going with the strength. And they are not a normal person, so they will not come back to Earth planet. They keep traveling onward only, they will not come back. So, uh, it, uh, it is like you are being sent by the uh, company, okay, to US on some assignment. Then after goes there, what they will do? They will look for another job, they will go. They will not come back to India. Similarly, these people, on their strength, they keep traveling. So, conclusion of Sudhish uh, Loka, uh, what uh, Krishna Chakra Thakur is saying it, it is very interesting to understand. Even though the yogis may enjoy, they are also enjoying it. That is not the same enjoyment experienced by Karmi. So, it is like uh, the bliss between the normal person and the devotee can compare. Okay, when they dance, okay, uh, for the in front of Lord Jagannath, they dance, they find the bliss. But uh, if you see the roadside people, they put some orchestra, some uh, uh, songs, of mundane songs, they dance. They also are dancing. But uh, this bliss is different. What is so similarly the Virata Rupa yogis that enjoyment they are also enjoying that is nothing to that you cannot compare with the karmis is enjoying in Sarguloka. Okay. So that uh, what is the nature of enjoyment by karmis is it is very inferior. Okay, it is like the roadside dance. Okay, that you should uh, be able to understand. As soon as the karmas get over, what the karmis they have to do, pious karmis, they have to come back to this ethnic planet. So, that is what is the challenge between normal person and the Virat Rupa. So, Virat Rupa yogis, they have, don't have to come to their, on, because they not, don't have to come here because they travel on the strength of the yogic power. Okay, and they have strength of their uh, bhakti. Okay. And they can stay as long as they want it. That is the difference. The difference between Virat Rupa and uh, normal person, uh, pious credit person is pious credit person, once you are drained out, like you are stamped with the visa, okay? What happens once your visa expires, that local police will come, okay? Why? Your visa is over, your three months visa, six months visa over, pack up, back, you go to your country, they will throw you out. But uh, these people who was having uh, uh, Virat Rupa Yogis, when they go to same Sargoloka, same enjoyment, they have been thrown out because they are green card holders. Okay, special permission they have. The police will not come and throw you out. Okay, your visa is expired. No. They are uh, raising, they can stay as long as they want. They can travel to next uh, country as they like. It's very beautiful example I can explain you. A person who has a, he is going to a restaurant, okay? Then when you go to a restaurant, what do you have to do? You order some idli dosa, vada, chutney, sambar, pongal, all the list that you have to pay money. But the same uh, restaurant, some chief minister coming, that state chief minister coming. What he will do? That will the restaurant person will ask the money. He can come, whatever he want to eat, and he can leave. You don't have to pay money. In fact, that uh, restaurant person will give big dakshana to him for coming. Similarly, though, you might have seen that for you know, the opening of some uh, jewelry shop or the uh, hotel or some uh, famous entertainment place, 
they invite the cricket star and so many people or film star they will invite so they will come they will uh, they will wear the jewel they will enjoy the place but they will not pay in fact that owner will give huge uh, uh, this thing to offer to them so this is what the difference okay between the we people uh, pious credit karma yogis and virat rupa virat rupa yogis did not to pay anything okay the yogis when they visit the various planets we are not talking about singapore malaysia we different planets sarvaloka magaloka tapaloka various planets they have they have been personally invited by the president deities suppose sarvaloka who is the president deity indra he goes put obeisance to that yogi he welcomes them ensure that while he is staying in that planet he gets all comfortable all enjoyment for you to understand when indra sorry arjuna went to indra loka then indra arranged that urvashi uh, rambanda no for dance entertainment keeping busy similarly you can correlate for these yogis also has the opportunity and they have to serve with these yogis so see that difference we so long i was also not thinking they are so powerful by going deep into the shloka nicely is explaining what is the power of these people he is describing the virat rupa yogis when the yogis is satisfied okay i enjoy nicely he says i no longer enjoy this level of happiness are one enough like a taken 10 jamun enough 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 was i don't want jamun no more i am ready to move to the other planet on and on then what this indra has to do pressing dt he has to accompany him taking him all the way to next planet and hand over to the next presidency see that it is like a royal treatment nowadays you can see in the tv you know when the uh, chief me recently i was watching that there is a lok sabha speaker so uh, they have been he has been selected the previous speaker was sitting in the dais then the new speaker went then he uh, he was accompanied by president uh, prime minister and the opposition uh, person also they asked that uh, speaker to sit on the chair and the old person leave the place so this is the scenario it is mandatorily we are looking this type of uh, respect and uh, facilitation but actually practically what is happening one planet to other planetary my goodness how great this yogi is out of his own wish the yogi decide no more this level of enjoyment no more curiosity in a past then he goes to next station as on his own decision it is not forced by that uh, indra bus time out was you are uh, taken my lot of my time he cannot force him only the yogi can decide yes boss i am satisfied uh, my curiosity is left i have visited all your planet i see nook and corner of the swarga loka in a board of it and uh, let me go to the next magar loka he chooses to go only the yogi can choose to go it is not indra can chase him out okay get out he does not have to pay price for this karma so he don't have to pay for enjoyment that the punya karmas as that will go down in it is like uh, you accumulated so many punya karmas like a normal person when you stay you are uh, losing no for this yogi there is nothing called punya karma where he has to lose and all it is exempted totally exempt he is green card holder he can nobody will charge him he can walk into anywhere i think that sort of he go he has to pass through that next presidency dt is waiting for him he respectfully receive him and welcome him and he taking him to the planet and personally take care of all kind of enjoyment see the uh, how much royal treatment they are giving the yogis who has a material enjoyment he is not an ordinary person so virat rupa yogis are not ordinary person we have to understand that the enjoyment they are doing but still they are not an ordinary person he is very exalted person they say that the great yogis can go inside outside the universe to the place of magar loka and jana loka tapa loka swarga loka swarga loka to satya loka he can travel everywhere outside the universe as well because they have a subtle body with a subtle body mind and intelligence and subtle body senses he is enjoying and 
exchanging the currency is going on giving the us dollar to local currency singapore dollar malaysian dollar then he is spending it uh, thailand dollar like that he is going on spending he is exhausting that us currency dollars and finally he entering to brahma loka when he is entering to merging with brahma jyoti he is zero subtle body he doesn't have subtle body at all zero then he is merging like how the uh, ashtanga yogi is uh, sorry uh, parmatma yogi how he is immediately losing that uh, subtle body and leaves the gross body to merge to merge you have to lose the subtle body similarly virat rupa even though he, he is passing through the various planetary system he is exchanging currency like you go to tirupati you no know, I, i remember my father in my childhood no where he puts a one rupee coin and all those days some coins will be there so whenever we once in a blue moon going to tirupati is not easy for those days so he takes us he gives so much of exchanges our duty is that while returning we should not carry any lakshmi with us so happily we we'll give the other people and while returning we we'll exhausted after returning from tirupati no currency with in our packet small liquor we la no down the packet side packet everything so this is a virata rupa yogi is also they give up all the subtle body and then merge with the lord they are not an ordinary people they are very elevated souls this is the bottom line of today's shlokas so it is very super very important in the bhagavad smrit bhagavatam 2.2.23 we have time we can go through at listen it very nice propad also very beautifully is given the par- Uh, purport also like he is comparing the uh, narada muni and the durvasa muni they are all just they can travel no passport is required no entry ticket is required they can stay anywhere as long as they want they can travel to various planetary system they also have equipped with it, that uh, localized body also gatra shrimad bhagavatam thank you for joining and listening patiently for this very beautiful shloka and nice purport uh, Sukadev Goswami given and Sri Prabhupada translated for us. Hare Krishna. Which one I need to press? Yeah, we can stop it. It is not live.